Carl Edwards' first win in NASCAR came in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series in 2003. The win came at Kentucky Speedway on July 12, 2003. In that race, Carl started in 5th place. After winning the race, he did his signature backflip for the first time at NASCAR race. This would be the first of many backflips to come. This is a base card for Brendan Gaughan. This card is number 79 out of the set. I would like to have the whole base set for 2017 Don Russ Racing. However, it is hard to find the raid rookies in Race Kings. Those cards are treated as inserts and inserts only come once or twice in a pack. RFK Racing revealed a new sponsor for Brad Keselowski this week. Esperon Therapeutics will sponsor Brad Keselowski in the Daytona 500 under the next Luxette name. Chris Bush will also have sponsorship from Esperon Therapeutics for three races. The 2021 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion, Daniel Hemrick, had a bit of a down year in 2022. In 2022, he had zero wins. 3 top 5s, 14 top 10s, 1 pole, an average finish of 15.6, and finished in ninth place in the point standings. He will return to the number 11 car for calling racing for the 2023 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. Clinton Boyer is the 2008 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion. His stats from that season are 1 win, 14 top 5s, 29 top 10s, and an average finish of 8.3. He was able to do this all while driving full-time with the NASCAR Cup Series. Eventually, NASCAR made it mandatory that drivers could only declare for points in one series, so Cup Series drivers couldn't compete for multiple series and points. Eventually, NASCAR also said Cups drivers can only race in seven starts of the Xfinity Series in one year. Ahead of the 2020 NASCAR Xfinity Series season, they shrunk it down to only five races. Kevin Harvick officially announced last Thursday that the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season will be his final season in the Cup Series. Kevin Harvick is the 2020 Southern 500 winner, the 2003, 2019, and 2020 Brickyard 500 winner, the 2011 and 2013 Coca-Cola 600 winner, the 2007 Daytona 500 winner, and the 2014 NASCAR Cup Series champion. He is also tied for ninth winningest driver in the Cup Series with Kyle Busch. On Thursday, it was announced that Kyle Larson will compete in the 2024 Indy 500. He will race for McLaren Racing in a car co-owned by his boss from NASCAR, Rick Hendrick. The car will be sponsored by HendrickCars.com. HendrickCars.com is Kyle Larson's main sponsor in the Cup Series. Daniel Suarez had his best Cup Series season in 2022. He finished 10th place in the points and he won his first Cup Series race coming at Sonoma Raceway. He will return to the 99 car for the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season full-time for Trackhouse Racing. On Wednesday, it was announced that Jimmy Johnson's car number for his part-time deal in 2023 will be number 84. He will make five starts with his first race scheduled to be the Daytona 500, with Carvana sponsoring his efforts in the Daytona 500. The next day, his paint scheme was revealed. It was also announced that Petty GMS Racing changed their name to Legacy Motor Club. 
The name was chosen because Richard Petty, his longtime crew chief Dale Inman, and Jimmy Johnson all have a combined 22 championships. Ty Dillon moved over to Aspire Motorsports for the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season to drive the number 77 car full-time. He was driving the number 42 car for the team formerly known as Petty GMS Racing in the 2022 Cup Series season full-time. He had unexciting results. He only had one top 10, a 10th place finish at Dirt Bristol. He also had an average finish of 22.6. Thanks for watching and tell me what your favorite card was that I pulled. For me, I like the Kevin Harvick Speed.